good. Amen. Amen. In our time, he is good. Amen. Amen. Y'all don't mind, just bear with me. Let me sing a couple of verses of this song that's on my heart right now. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. How many of y'all can say that? Mm. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that love, Lord, more than anything. Amen. 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 No matter what you're going through, you just stand up and say, Lord, I love you more than anything. Amen. Amen. First, give honor to God. To Apostle Bruce and his answers in the day, to Pastor Jones, Pastor Bruce, Mother McCray, and the five four ministers of this house, and everyone in their perspective places. Amen. Today's sermon will be coming from 1 Samuel, the 17th chapter, starting at the 32nd verse through the 40th verse. Amen. Mm -hmm. 1 Samuel, the 17th chapter, the 32nd verse. Through the fourth, amen. And our title for the day, when I was studying, I said, Lord, what do you want me to talk about today? And my title for the day is, Are We Giant Killers or Are We Just Playing the Game? Amen. Or right. Playing the Role, amen. First Samuel, the 17th chapter, starting at verse 32, says, And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with the Philistines. Verse 33. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a young, and he is a, but a youth, and he is a man of war from his youth. Verse 34. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant, keep his father's sheep. And they came a lion and a bear and took the lambs out of the flock. Verse 35, And I went out after him and smocked him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smoked him and slayed him. Verse 36, The servant slayed both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them seeing he has defiled the army of the living God. Verse 37, And David said moreover, The Lord that delivered me out of the palms of the lion and out of the palm of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hands of the Philistines. Yes. And Saul said unto David, Go, what that word, go, yes. and let the Lord be with thee. Verse 38, And Saul's army, David with his armor, and he put a helmet of brass upon his head, and he armed him with a coat of mall. Verse 39, And David growled with his sword unto his armor, and he assured to go, for he has not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with this, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. And verse 40, and he took his staff in his hand and chose five food, smooth stones out of this brook and put them in his shepherd bed, which he had, even in a scribe. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew it near to the Philistine. Amen? Amen. Are we giant killers or are we just playing the role? This morning, I'm speaking to someone who is facing some giants in their life. Amen? Yeah. How do I know? Because we all face giants. Amen? Amen. <laughs> I have a few in my own. The bottom line is this. You may not want to face your giants. You may even want to run from them in fear. You may not want to avoid them and hope that they will just go away. You need to know that you are a giant. <clears throat> you need to know that your giant will just not go away. But you must face him so that he can be defeated. Amen? Yes. As we 
we begin to go into this picture this morning, we're going to see that David was a young man. He's a young man filled with faith in the Lord. David was not afraid to go to the battle with the giants of life and claim victory in the name of the Lord. Yes. David was a giant killer. Uh -huh. Amen? How many of us are giant killers today? And you need to know that, that you can be a giant killer too. Amen? The giants you are facing this morning, regardless of its nature, can be destroyed and it can be defeated. Amen? Amen. So no, how, no, no matter how big your giant is, you can face it and you can defeat it. Amen. Let me share with you three simple steps that are necessary to being a giant killer. Number one, you have to establish the right motives. Amen? Amen. Let me say that again. Number one, you have to establish the right motives. Uh -huh. This time that David had to face was nine feet tall. Nine inches. Mm. And he wore armor that weighed in about 175 pounds. Amen. So you can imagine this. Amen? That this giant was nine feet tall, nine inches high. Amen? And he wore armor, amen, that was about 175 pounds. So you can imagine he wore armor that weighed just as much as I weigh right now, amen? And brass from his head to his toe, amen? For 40 mornings and 40 evenings, the giant taunted the army of Israel. And that same amount of days, Israel heard and challenged and they retreated in fear, amen? So 40 days, this big old giant was taunting them, oh, who gonna run this man? And Israel stood there and they heard everything they were saying, oh, nobody can defeat me. So they ran to hid, amen? So as they ran to hid, <clears throat> however, this, was, this one particular day was gonna be different. David's faith and confidence in the Lord rose to the challenge and he asked to go and fight this giant. When David spoke about killing the giant, People thought David Moses was for financial rewards. Amen? How many know that sometimes when you fight things in life and then you're going to have those people that are going to come up and say you're doing it just to be a show, just for sure. Amen? So that's what people thought about David then when he spoke up and said that he was going to go out and kill these giants. Amen? So as we started more into this passage, I was convinced that David Hart was motivated by two things. One, the glory of God. Two, by his newly anointed, being, by him being a newly appointed king at this time, amen? 